employment cycles what I'm going to be talking to you about today this is an essential part of human resource management that uh, is left to human resource managers there's two essential questions um, that this presentation will focus on um, as a main aim if you like what makes a good employee and secondly what makes a job a good place to work so there's two essential questions that I want you to keep in the back of your mind when you view this particular presentation. Also, there are a whole range of understandings that I want you to have. First of all, the steps involved employing a new employee. That's the first section of the employment cycle. What makes a good employee from an employer's perspective? So, the, so not only from an employer's perspective, we also have to look at the employer's perspective. What makes a workplace a good place to work? What strategies are used to maintain and develop employees in the workplace? The impacts of employment relation laws on employees and employers. That's a very important part of being employed in terms of awards and other um, fair work laws that are currently in place. And also, in the, in the worst case scenario of strikes, the impacts of industrial disputes on the workplace and the community. So there are a whole bunch of understandings that you need to have to take with you um, when, when, when you study this area. What I've done is to summarise section 8.6 of your text, Business Studies in Action, and you'll notice there's quite a few um, diagrams and references to certain um, concepts and so forth that are taken straight from the text to make it easier for you. In addition, there'll be um, exercises that I'm going to ask you to do along the way which will form part of your note-taking if you like. Okay, human resource management. Essentially, it's a formal relationship between the employer and the employees. Some people think that this relationship only exists for the employee to get money um, to have a good lifestyle, but there's a lot more to it than that that, that that we will find out as we go along. Now, when we look at it from the employer's perspective, Employers are the most valuable resource, um, certainly the most expensive cost of any um, expense in, in a firm, so we need to look after this valuable resource. We have to take care to hire the right people um, and the best people, and we need to get it right straight away, otherwise our business will suffer. We didn't need to develop effective working relationships, so this is from an employer's perspective. So the more, uh, the better the relationship is, the more motivated and enthused our employees are going to be, and therefore they're going to satisfy our customers, and we're going to make uh, more money and so forth. We have to motivate our staff to do their best in the workplace. It's not, it's not an easy task, and it's always a two-way street. For, for that um, to occur, we must, well we, the human resource managers, must provide opportunities for development. It's not only about money, um, it's also for development in terms of their personal skills and their professional skills. These are the main reasons for maintaining a good relationship with your employees. Let's just now have a look at the employment cycle itself um, that we will be going through step by step. So you can see up here the acquisition stage, so we need to identify, recruit and then select. Uh, once we have employed them, they need to be trained and developed. Um, and more and more s emphasis is, is put on this um, part, maintenance. Okay? It not only uh, means paying them lots of money, uh, but also there's lots of other monetary benefits that um, staff enjoy and makes them stay at a particular um, job. And then unfortunately this, this occurs, um, sometimes voluntarily for, for retirement for example, but there's also instances of involuntary uh, separation as we call it, um, which is not nice, um, but is a fact of life, especially when the economy goes down. You can see this table on page 252, and on page 253 you've got this uh, good summary of all the elements of human resource staffing process and their related activities. Now, I'm not going to read through all those, but I'll ask you to pause and look at those, um, because that is what we're going to go through in detail 
in this FIP lesson. This table on page 253 will become an excellent uh, revision um, tool for you later on when, when you have to study for the exam and indeed the test. Please uh, take stock, go to page 254, uh, the revision questions there, I'd like you to do questions 1, 2 and 6 uh, before you go on.